All right, yeah. It's looking like we got ourselves another, another balloon pop episode. What is good is your boy. We back with another. If you new to the channel, smash that sub, bro, brother. If you back, you know for a fact I appreciate you, man. And we going crazy. Let's just go, man. This shit an hour long. Y'all know the deal. We on the road to 100k. Uh, clothing brand link dropping soon. Get tuned for that. Link will be in the bio. And yeah, let's do it. Back to my. Oh, why aren't they texting me back? Are they nice mad at me? Do they not like me anymore? Me. I'm scared to ask. This is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. All right. So. This is interesting. The way this game is gonna go, I'm gonna be bringing it if you're feeling soon. Also, get this. And I'll have you. All right. So listen. The one thing we need to pay attention to is how many women pop the balloons off of the jump before the guys even get a chance to talk to her and then how many guys pop the balloons before the women even get to speak pay attention to that because the women will literally pop the balloon the moment the nigga turns the corner i ain't see one person pop their jaw yet come on hello welcome in i'll have you hold that what's your name Hi, my name is Jessica Carmen. Jessica, okay, and how old are you? I'm 27 years old. 27, okay, and what do you do? I'm a doctor. I specialize in internal medicine. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to do gymnastics. Um, I'm a gymnast, and I also do cheerleading, too. I started back that. So, um, yeah, those are, like, the things I do. And I started a TikTok account, like, oh. a week ago. And okay. And also <laughs> I post on YouTube. Hey, and very nice. <laughs> so what are some things you look for in a man? Um, really, I'm looking for someone that knows what they want. Someone that came here with the intention. nigga was not fucking with the TikTok. You were. Intention of finding love and um, also someone that's like ready to settle down and has an end goal of getting married. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, I guess I would say someone that's unsure of what they want. If you're not ready to get married, like in the next few years, you're not really someone that I'm looking for. Okay. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, getting married in the next few years. Look at that type of pressure that she's already putting on a relationship that doesn't even exist. You, I'm looking for somebody who wants to be married in the next few years. You don't even know if you're going to like dude in the next few years. So, but being married has to be, you know, like, oh, it's, it's, you're forcing a relationship at this point. You're forcing a relationship. Forcing it. <laughs> so we did get uh, a few pop balloons. Let's go mm -hmm. on over there and see why they end up popping those balloons. All right, let's start right on over here. Right. We can have your name and age. My name is Johnny. And my age is 34. And Johnny, what do you do? I'm a personal trainer. Okay, very cool. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon. You ain't no fucking personal trainer. Very cool. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon because she's a doctor, for one. Oh. It's not a bad thing. It's just that I smoke a lot. And I know it's probably going to be a problem for her. Okay. And, yeah, to be honest, that's, that's the only reason for real. Like, you look good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah um, fucking personal trainer, my ass. I'm fucking Lance Armstrong then. So is the smoking a problem for you with you being a doctor? Yes, I don't really like cigarette smokers. But. I don't really smoke cigarettes. It's other things, but, you know, not not cigarettes. But. Okay. So is Johnny someone that is your type? Yeah, I mean, you're a personal trainer. You look very fit. And so, yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Let's go on over to our next guy here. Your name and age? I'm he got a weed. Old ass. He got a weed. Like, yeah. <laughs> this nigga is shot the fuck out. Look at this nigga. Justin, I'm 34. 34 with a weed pendant necklace come on cuzzy okay johnny let's go on over come to our on, next cousin. guy here your name and age i'm justin i'm 34 and justin what do you do well i'm a ceo 
of a um, logistics company nationwide, semi-truck cleaning and fleet company. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, I mean, she's a very beautiful lady. Um, it just seemed like she was a little downspoken. She wasn't very confident when she walked out. Um, I like outspoken people, you know, straight to the point. Like, hey, what's up? You know, I'm here. This is what we got going. So it's nothing against you. It's just you seem like a very nice person. But, you know, you're not loud enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. I mean, honestly, I'm like really nervous being here. Oh, I could tell, you know, yeah. that's why I don't want to like use that against you, but yeah. that's what it is for right now, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. And now, uh, um, is Justin, that's yeah, the name? Justin. Justin, is Justin someone that's your type? Um, uh, not really, just not really the type that I typically go for, but okay. um, yeah, you're very handsome, mm -hmm. and yeah. When you say type then, and then you call me handsome, you mean like, in what way? What, what, what kind of type? Um... Mm. I guess uh, maybe someone a little more taller, but, mm -hmm. you know, I get it's just my preference, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I got you, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. All right, thank you. Let's head on back. So we do still have quite a uh, quite a few balloons left unpopped. Yeah. So I am going to go... These niggas ahead. just beat... Well, listen, there's a couple of things. The niggas heard doctor and was like, I'm not popping this motherfucker. I didn't have you ask these guys a question just to help us narrow it. <laughs> her doctor said, I'm finna hold this motherfucker the whole time. She making a cool minimum hundred a year. Minimum. Some sort of doctor making a hundred ball. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm holding that John. I'm I'm holding that John. For the hundred ball Jamal, I'm holding it. Right down for you. I'm seeing what okay. she's about. Fuck it. Um, does anyone have kids? Well, okay, because so we got, or do you want us to go ask them, like, how many, all that stuff, or? Um, yeah, how many kids do you have? Raised? have you, oh, wait, let's start over here. Oh. <laughs> okay, if we can start with your name and age. All right. Like, calm the fuck down, nervous ass nigga. Let them or, fucking do Do you want us to go shit. ask them, like, how niggas many, is, all that look, stuff, or? Niggas, um, yeah. Niggas is holding up the shit before she even get there, nigga. Calm the fuck down. How many kids do you have? They got on a fucking you, oh, let's dress start over shirt here. with jeans on. <laughs> okay, if we can and start with your name. They got an open dress shirt with pennies on, bro. Fuck is you doing? Fuck are you doing, nigga? <laughs> I see why these niggas be on bullshit. See Look at you. I you oh, let's start over here. <laughs> okay, if we can start with your name and age. Hi, right, my name is Bassi. Um, I'm 36. I'm going to be 37 in four days. So, yeah, I do have two kids. I have an 11-year-old son and a 12-year-old daughter. Yeah. And sorry, Bassi, what do you do? I work in construction field. I do own my own construction business as well. So, yeah. And then we did get someone down here. Okay, your name and age and what you do? Uh, my name is Kenneth. Um, I, um, I work for a behavioral health company for my mother and my stepfather. Um, and um, I do have one kid, and uh, he's 10 years old. Need a UGC video for your business? Find me and many other skilled creators on Fiverr. Or you could. Okay, and then I think we did have one more. Your name and age? Well, my name is George. I'm 35. And George, what do you do? I'm a health care worker. Okay. And how many kids do you have? I have two. Okay, how old? Nine and six. All right, um, honestly, I'm gonna have to ask all of you guys that said yes to pop your balloon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's start here since we're here. So why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she looked beautiful. I was just curious to see what she had more to say about. Okay. Yeah, so. Now, apart from him having the kids, is he someone that is your type? Yeah. Why is she paying in and Zoom her like that? Yeah, okay. definitely. You said you're a healthcare worker? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so I think that's really nice because we have that in common. We do. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right, let's go to our next this guy over got here. The fucking gold roll studded John on. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck this shit is. I would never in my life wear no shit like this. Holy shit. Ben? We do. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right, let's go to our next guy over here. Okay, so why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, well, she popped. She told me if, if, if it's right, if it's if you have kids, pop it. Yeah, so then why did you have it unpopped okay, before so, she told you to pop? So, um, initially, so when she came out, you know, I, I found a physical attraction to her initially. I love long hair, uh, skin complexion. I've uh, seen the shine, so teeth bright. That's what I like, so. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> and now, is he someone that's your type? Oh, 
Yeah, I would say so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're very attractive. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I would say you're my type for sure. And yeah, I wish I got a chance to know more about you. Same so. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And our last guy over here. So why did you have your balloon That's unpopped? So when she first... That's why I gotta stop having kids. Because you see how many relationships, potential relationships, can get ruined simply off the strength of you having a kid when you probably weren't ready to, you know, or you were with a partner that you knew you probably shouldn't have had a kid with and you thought that that was going to keep you guys together or create some sort of something, but in reality, you just put yourself in a more fucked up spot. Now, I know, you know, all relationships and situations are different, but we have to do a better job of deciding who we're going to have kids with. I feel like that's a very, very big thing to do. And I feel like a lot of people don't take it as serious as they should. This is my opinion. You know, this is my opinion. She came out. I noticed that the, Anna, she was a little timid. She was shy a little bit. Um, but I noticed she has, like, a good personality about her. So um, she's very pretty. Um, I like what she's wearing. Uh, nice teeth as well. So, yeah, that was the reason why, yeah. And now, is he someone that's your type? Yeah, I would definitely say so. You also look very fit. Thank you. Yeah, very attractive. Appreciate it. Yeah, you look. But she dubbed the short nigga with the very stunning as well. Thank you. (laughs) All right. So we do have four balloons left unpopped. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these guys another question. Okay. So I would like to know about why your last relationship ended, and also if you've ever been married or engaged before, um, why it did not work out. Okay. All right. Let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. Yeah. So uh, my name is Josh. I'm 39 years old. I'm a, uh, Josh, what do you do? I'm a mental health therapist. Okay. And then just to go ahead and answer a question. Yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, we kind of outgrew each other, right? So I feel like love is basically something that you, It's love is freedom. So I allowed her to explore and be free. So that's what we did. So that's basically that. Okay. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age. Philip, and I'm 34. And Philip, what do you do? I'm the assistant track coach for Arizona State. Yeah, Philip popped out Flea. I don't know if you should have did this working at Arizona State College, but Philip popped out. 34. And Philip, what do you do? I'm the assistant track coach for Arizona State. Okay. If you could just answer her question. So the reason why my last relationship ended is because the more I got on my purpose, the more our interests just changed over time. We're still cordial to this day, but we just decided to go our separate ways. Haven't been married, haven't been engaged. Okay. And have you ever cheated in a relationship before? No. Okay. All right. One more. Like Philip. All right. Your name and age? My name. Philip All got, right. Okay. Philip got and- to let the patchy ass beard go, gang. You got to let that shit go, bro. Have you ever cheated in a relationship before? No. Okay. All right. Hang on. Shit going in a All right. Your name and age? My name is Paul. I'm 39. And Paul, what do you do? Uh, ICU and vascular access nurse and property investor. Nice. And if you can just go ahead and answer a question. Um, so my last relationship, uh, I don't drink very much. And that was more of something that she partook in. Um, to have some drinks at the restaurant and drink alone at home. And that's just a little bit too much for me because I rarely drink because I like to be in control of my body and stuff. Uh, I've never been married or divorced and I've uh, never cheated. Very nice. Okay. And so we did get a pop down here when you asked that question. So let's head on over there and see why he ended up popping. If we can start off with your name and age. My name is Jay, 31. Okay. And Jay, what do you do? I work for Parks and Recreation, Recreation Coordinator. Yeah. So, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'll be honest. You're nice. You're nice looking. Um, you know, I'm a private person. So, when it comes to relationship, I think that's something I would want to talk to you in a private part of our relationship. So That's fair. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, is he someone that is your type of, you know? Yeah, I would definitely say so. Tall, dark, and handsome, so mm. I would say, yeah, you're my type. Okay. And then, so, is she someone that is your type? I know that question is what made you pop, but is she someone that's your type? Yeah, yeah, I think she, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you. We all know the history. Dark? Called the nigga dark. 
How we are supposed to wait? All right. Called the nigga dark. Okay, let's head on back. <laughs> so, I'd be like, motherfucker. So out of these three guys left, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons, just kind of based off of what you've heard so far and, you know, what you see, all that good stuff. So let me hand you a pick. There you go. Thank you. And just go ahead and pop one of theirs. Oh, it's just these three. Just these three? Okay. <laughs> okay, so why did we end up popping his? Um, I guess when it comes to like immediate physical attraction, it just wasn't really there. But um, you're very handsome, and I'm sure someone else will love you, so. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> she's my type. I think okay. she's, uh, she's great. I, I was waiting to see more information because, you know, doctors are pretty busy with their work-life balance, but it's fine. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Let's head on back. Guys, any questions for our girl? Uh, one question. Okay. Right over here. So, um, what is the, what is some of your characteristics of a healthy relationship? So I think loyalty is very important and also communication. Like, hey, yo, this is the one thing that bothers me. Like people say, what do you look for in a relationship? Loyalty trust like no fucking shit that you want your partner to be loyal like we're saying things that are all that are supposed that come with a relationship you shouldn't look for loyalty is not something you look for in a person loyalty is like what you get when somebody respects you that's not something you have to look for. You get what I'm saying? So when people are like, oh, what do you look for in a relation, in a partner? Oh, someone who's loyal, trustworthy. Like they say the same fucking five generic ass, bullshit ass answers that don't make no fucking sense. Making sure you're communicating. Dumb. Like for example, if you can't text me because you're busy all day, like just telling me in the morning, like, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to text, but I'll talk to you later. Um, rather than just like, you know, ghosting me and like ignoring my messages so i feel like communication loyalty those are all very important um obviously not cheating and things like that um and then also making time for each other so like i'm not someone like i don't expect someone to take me on a date like every single week like all the time like I understand and then like you know there's free things that we can do like one of my dream dates is like a picnic and when, like in like the park or something and like i feel like you know that's something you could like buy twenty dollars worth of groceries at walmart and have it i don't need to be taken somewhere like some fancy restaurant so yeah okay all right thank you okay i got a question Go ahead. so with your profession do you feel like you're going to be able to have a balance between work and your personal life 100 percent. so that's actually something like since I became a doctor, I just don't have time for people that say things like, oh, I don't have time for you. Because I feel like I'm someone that makes time for things that are important to me. Like I said, I do YouTube, I do gymnastics. I also teach gymnastics lessons in my free time. And so I have, you know, like very little free time, but I feel that I can make time for someone that I really care about and things that I really want to do. So I don't think it's an issue. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay, it's time to pop. <laughs> oh my God, this is hard. I bet, I bet. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness. So you're 39, and how old are you? I'm 34. 34, okay. Honestly, like, you are so attractive. Like, um, yeah, I can't say anything bad. You came dressed very nicely. Um, this nigga's armpits I just, are sweating like a fucking can't say anything bad i don't even like holy shit bro you came dressed very nicely um i just feel like if you may be a little too old because you're about to turn 40 soon mm -hmm. that's correct yeah <laughs> and i feel like you're probably more ready to like be a little quick on things than i am like i would like to get married but um as far as like having kids is not something that i want to do like at this moment and, you know, I, I just feel like you might be more ready to do something like that. So, <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So obviously you had your balloon on pop for her for quite some time. Why so? Um, very attractive, um, beautiful smile. And then also I like that you have to be disciplined in order for a career like that. And then it's still within that discipline you were able to, uh, you know, maintain your femininity. So thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and step that way and bring Philip on out. Philip, I'll have you stand right over here. All right. So my final question, is it going to be a yes for you for her? Yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take this mic and okay. you guys can go right on up. Right. <laughs> oh, 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 you're good, girl. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey. That was gangsta. That nigga handed that nigga the balloon. Like, huh? Nigga. I got the shorty, huh? That was cool. Cut off. Right? That was cool. <laughs> right. Oh, 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 you're good, girl. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey. <You> said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't be that nigga, Philip. You heard? Shout out to Arizona State for the one time, gangster. Hey, yo, man, listen. Y'all just gotta remain composed, stay calm. You know, be confident. And understand that the woman, whenever you talk to a woman, the one thing I say is you have to keep it in your head that she wants you. You don't want her. She wants you. And that's going to make all the confidence and all the difference right there is when you tell yourself, no, no, she wants me. You know, I shouldn't. And it'll just carry yourself, you know, be on your shit, be talk with, uh, you know, with uh, confidence in your voice. And know what you're talking about. Have stuff going for yourself. And then you'll be in a position to bag whatever you want. And you'll end up like Philip catching a dub. Hey, yo, smash that sub button. You heard 100K loaded. Talk to me. I'm going to catch you on the next one. You heard? Doses. We got plenty of more episodes coming up.